And if you don't want that put on you, then put the burden back on us and let us decide. That's the fairest way to do it. Thank you. I thank you very much. Teamed members of the committee, my name is Matthew Frank. I am the owner of the Clear Morning Health Store. I'm an herbalist and a natural health consultant with 15 years experience. Since 1996, I've dedicated myself to getting others healthy and very often reducing their dependence on harmful drugs. The USA uses many herbs every day Last year, over half of Americans used at least one dietary supplement. When I started out, the global natural products industry was a $5 billion concern. Recent estimates show that since then, that has doubled. The herb Cannabis Sativa and Cannabis Indica yields many useful products, including food, fuel oil, and fibers for textiles. The industrial demand for cannabis will quickly surpass will quickly dwarf all recreational uses, supplying raw materials for plywood and other building materials, textiles, fuel oil, plastics, paper, and tissue. The dried flower of this herb, ganja, to use its ancient Ayurvedic name, has potential to surpass all current herbs in popular use, creating from the dirt a multi-billion dollar industry, a multi-billion dollar crop for Hoosier farmers. Currently, we are forfeiting this thriving global market in hemp products to Canada and China. Regarding public safety, the drug cartels currently warring against the governments of Colombia and Mexico are primarily funded by ganja. Prohibition wages an undeclared war that has reached our own border. The policy of prohibition positively encourages these violent armed gangs to enter the U.S. At a time when our last three presidents have admitted to smoking ganja, we've most of us figured out that smoking ganja is not a one-way ticket to the gutter. The calm and exaltation of ganja is common knowledge, as is its relative non-toxicity. This fact complicates the prohibition of the much more destructive drugs that provoke so many bad decisions and violence. Alcohol and crack and meth really seem to make people go nuts. Along with heroin, these are definitely lethal drugs with many confirmed fatalities from overdose. The crystalline, highly refined, isolated extract of many herbs are poisons. Heroin, cocaine, and for this reason, I wholeheartedly oppose the consumption of such isolates from cannabis, and I applaud the recent outlaw of the synthetic cannabinoids known as K2. During my career, several customers have shared their struggles with addiction, and I always gently encourage these folks to fill their time with healthy diet, physical activity, and vitamins and herbs. Whole cannabis may have the potential to break dependence on these more dangerous <coughs> substances. If you desire more information, I will make myself available to answer your questions about cannabis. Finally, on a personal note, my family suffered the loss of my brother and his fiance in a traffic accident. One would be hard pressed to find a family more interested in traffic safety than my own. In this connection, I relate to you the time that an EMT looked me in the eye and he said, I was first on the scene at every accident in two counties for years. I've used the jaws of life and I've used the can opener. 
we never found pot at an accident unless alcohol was involved. Therefore, in light of cannabis' outstanding history of safety and utility and the many benefits it offers, I implore you to support our efforts to educate people of the dangers of crystalline powdered drugs like meth and cocaine and to distinguish apart the flowers of the divine hemp plant, cannabis sativa and cannabis indica. Thank you and God bless America. Please. There, that, not one answer, uh, Senator, is that you take a pill, you get whatever you get. Aranol or Gravenol is pretty much pure THC, which is a psychoactive part of the marijuana plant. When you smoke whole cannabis, compounds, which have a completely different effect and a lot not nearly psychoactive. Uh, secondly, when you smoke take a pill, you're in for the whole dose and whatever you get. Uh, so so studies I've seen in my work Insurance does not pay for it either. So that everyone has. The other problem is test positive for drugs. 